How you doing? I'm John Paul with Critical Paintball, and we're going to show you how to install the new critical trigger for the MacDev clone and drone into a clone here. Okay, so. first we're going to start by removing the stock trigger. And take the pin out and keep that. If we're going to use that. Stock trigger goes out. Got the critical trigger here. Pull everything out. Got the super glue here which we're going to use to affix the magnet into the frame, the trigger itself, and some shims, we'll get into that in a second. So first thing we're going to do is install the magnet in the back there. The easiest way to do that is put it on the end of your Allen key. If you do it like this, you're going to have the polarity correct. So do that. Put a very small amount of glue on the magnet itself and then put it into the pocket of the frame it helps if you use something non-ferrous to pull it off your allen key so like a q-tip or a finger or something to that effect. So once that goes in there, just let it dry. And we're going to go ahead and slide the critical trigger up in here. And again, use the stock pin. I'm doing this upside down, so it's a little awkward here for me. But oh, this you can do it this way, and and it'll work. But what we've done is we've actually included some uh, some shims to get you a optimal performance here. Easiest way to do this would be to put a small amount of grease on the side of the trigger, so that you can get these to stick. I don't know if you can see that. Take, taking these shims. I use the grease to hold them on there. And with the use of the shims there, you have no side to side play, no wobble. And then you'd go ahead and start making your adjustments. We need a longer Allen key for this. Let's see. So the middle one there is your actuation. This is your rear stop. And then the uh, top one is the magnet. So that would be your tension, how stiff you'd like your trigger. And then we've also included this uh, an additional screw here, which you can put here up in the top portion so that you can control like the angle of the trigger. So if you'd like to have a shorter pull or a, not necessarily a shorter pull, but have it hugged back in the frame a little bit more, you can go ahead and put that in there and push the trigger back. Obviously make your adjustments accordingly from there. But you see that there's no side to side play. Using the two ball bearings, riding on the pin, it's a huge improvement over stock. So you can, uh, if you have any questions, you can always call us, email us, sales at criticalpaintball.com. You can find this at criticalpaintball.com, purchase it there, or any of our authorized dealers. Thank you. Thanks for watching.